and a lot of fruit in this pot. Oh, like really? How tragic is it? Yeah, it's really sad. From <laughs> they didn't have. Just done my laundry and did a little bit of work while I waited for it to be done because I forgot my capsule again so I had to keep running back and forth between my room and just didn't want to waste even more time so I brought my laptop here with me. Just got it now, I'm going to go back to my room, hang it all up and then go and do the test, to go and do a Tesco run for Ethnic Minority later this afternoon. And it feels, and we are going to put it on anyway. And then after that we do... Really a sporty person. Really a sporty person. Do you guys want to see the vlog? Do Smile. <laughs> so I don't actually think I've vlogged that much today. I don't know, I just, I've been running around doing things and I just didn't think to pick up the camera, I didn't think to even time lapse any of the work that I was doing. But yeah, so after I went to Tesco to do my um, shop for ethnic minority, I was just doing work in my room slash procrastinating. <laughs> I didn't actually do any of the reading, which is what I kind of wanted to do, but instead I was just doing some Latin work and doing some vocab. Yeah, I've kind of kind of procrastinated the whole day, which is not great, but tomorrow's another day, even though it's now 2.40 a.m. and I should probably go to sleep. I don't know what's wrong with my, with my body clock at the moment. I never usually go to bed this late at Oxford at all, unless I'm writing an essay. And obviously I'm not writing an essay, so I don't know why I'm up and I need to go to bed. But yeah, that's essentially what I've been doing today. And then we had Ethnic Minority, I think I did a little clip of that. And then I had formal with, because um, we went to St Hugh's formal, they, we had two of them back to experience new formal. And the food was really, really good. The dessert was amazing. It was like a brownie with this sauce. It was really good. I'm really sickly though. It is 11am and I am dressed and ready for the day to begin. But the, the day is now starting two hours later than I wanted it to which is not good. Yeah, I keep overseeing my alarm and I need to stop because I've now missed out on like another two hours of work. I mean, it's my fault because I've been going to bed extra, extra late, like way past the time I usually go to sleep. I don't know why I keep going to bed like half two, but yeah, it needs to stop. I need to just go to bed earlier and make sure I actually stay, uh, make sure I actually wake up on my alarm. It's now half past 12. I've done a solid hour and a half of work. I'm just having a breakfast slash lunch now. Just my Weetabix. And a lot of fruit in this pot. Oh, um, and then where is that going? My night dress. I probably have dressing gown. I mean, no. And now I'm just doing a little bit of reading and eating food because I'm so hungry. But I'm also a bit annoyed that my day started so late. But I am dressing everything. Got a lot of things to do, not just academic work as well. There like other stuff to sort out. So that's the plan. And I've also got to go to. Oh, I've got to go to Pierce Port Training at 2.30 because uh, I missed last week so I've got to like, do a catch up session which is another three hours so busy day and I've been going for dinner with Teresa Alita. I haven't really vlogged that much, I just keep forgetting to pick up my phone and do a time lapse or anything, sorry. I went off to Pierce Port at 2.30 so I caught up on the session that I missed last week and now I'm back I've got about 15 minutes before my tutorial, I've had a bit longer than that, I've just been writing a blog post, I haven't written on my blog in such a long time and that actually really makes me sad. Uh, the last time I wrote on my blog was three weeks ago or something like that and it's really really quite awful especially because I never I've never missed a YouTube deadline but I seem to have really put my blog on right, right at the bottom of the list and I don't want it to be because I really enjoy writing and I just ha I've got so many blog posts that I had planned in a calendar and they just have all been backlogged now and I haven't even written them but I have so many post ideas and so many things that I need to write because I want to write about them and it's just getting later and later and later but I'm currently writing a quick post on the British Council Study China program that I've uploaded on my vlogs for and kind of explaining what the program actually is because it might wasn't might not have been that obvious in the vlogs so I'm going to do kind of an informative little post just answering some questions like what is the program who's eligible to apply what actually happens so that will go out and then I plan on writing an actual 100% honest review on my personal experience on the program because I love the program and I would highly recommend it to anyone however there are a lot of things that I would say weren't amazing or the best with the program but I'm not doing that on this post because this is more of just an informative one like a quick snappy why should I go what is it how do you apply uh, kind of post and hopefully I will encourage a lot of you guys to apply because I would honestly seriously recommend going on it but I do, yeah, I do plan on writing a very honest review. Yes. So after my lecture this morning, I came back and did a lot more work. And then 
slash having a nap because I was falling asleep and I don't remember if I vlogged this already but whatever and then I went to Tesco with one of my college daughters Nikita to go and get some wine for our crew date tonight because we have a classics and engineer crew date in college so classics from new college and engineers from new college so I've got with my standard Echo Falls summer berries I usually always get this for crew dates because it's like kind of bearable to drink and yeah on crew dates I guess I haven't, I don't, I did go on, a, I didn't film like the other times I went on crew dates last year just because they get quite messy, but yeah, usually this entire thing gets drunk, but if I haven't filmed any footage of it, which I probably won't tonight because I just want to enjoy myself and I don't want to embarrass myself on camera. <laughs> so I wasn't going to vlog, but I thought I might as well actually show you guys what <coughs> what my life is like at Oxford it's currently five in the morning I've been up since about half past two honestly excuse my appearance my hair is like tied up because it was annoying me when I was sleeping um and I just look I actually look disgusting <laughs> um I actually look quite horrible but yes yeah, so I've been up since about 2 30 and I was really really hungry and then my college son Nick bless him he was going to go to Hassan's anyway and he said I'll buy you something and bring it to you but then I didn't want anything but he but we just ended up sharing his Hassan so he got chicken nuggets and chips and cheese so I ate that because I really needed some food because the crew date was incredibly messy like a lot like every, lots of people just got really really drunk I definitely got really really drunk I drank more than a bottle of wine yeah and I ate far too much food because I had early haul because I didn't want to drink on an empty stomach but then when we were there at Temple Lounge I just ate so much Indian food it was actually a joke and I've just spent the past hour just over an hour editing week two the vlog for week two which will go out not this Thursday but next Thursday and I've just uploaded the video that's going to go out this Thursday because I was already edited I made a thumbnail for that. So I've kind of got ahead in terms of that. However, I've had about two hours sleep, so I'm surprised I'm still going. I started the day very late because I was just so tired. I don't even, I think I had two hours sleep and then obviously I woke up at about 2.33. Didn't go to sleep again until six. And then I woke up again at 10.30, so I had some really weird broken sleep. So I've got up and I did some exercise, a little workout. Then I've just been doing some small chores, making a to-do list, doing my expenses, paying people that I've owed money, and kind of cleaning up a little bit and doing a little bit of reading. And now I'm off to Gloucester Green Market to get lunch with Shishan. I haven't seen her for the whole term properly, so yeah, it's crazy that it's taking us this long in the sixth week and then after that I'm going to come back and do a little bit more work and I've got baseball training in the afternoon but I'm really quite behind on my work so we'll see how things go. Can I have a on please? Oh my god it's Angelos has brought us a link in formal. I didn't vlog any of the kind of stuff I did this afternoon, but after peer support training, Amy and I had to run off to go to EDCOM, which is the Equality and Diversity Community, and we had like a session on discussing how to tackle certain issues within the Equality and Diversity umbrella, and how we can work together with other colleges, and how we can make more events and things we do in college more accessible. And then after that, I had to go, come straight here, get changed, go to Lincoln Formal, and I've just come back from that. I mean, I've done Lincoln Formal before when I was 17, but it was really nice to get back again. Not I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really that impressed with the way logistically it was done because, for example, I was still eating my main and then my two friends, Teresa and Angelos, both got served their dessert already and I thought it was a bit kind of, it wasn't, it didn't really feel like a nice formal meal being served to us. After that, we then quickly stopped off in the KA and now I'm back and I've got changed to go to the club night, but I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. On the way to Park End. We are on the way to Park End. And <laughs> 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 We tried to get Hassan's and we got rejected because they don't accept cashew anymore. <laughs> so our <laughs> chips and cheese are just left on the side. Like really, how tragic is it? Yeah, it's really sad. Rejected from Hassan's. And they didn't have, they don't take, and I don't have my card on me and I only have cashew and they didn't accept it. So we couldn't get a Hassan. Yeah. Sad times. Yeah, it's really tragic. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Yeah. So this morning I had my lecture and then I went off straight away to, so I had another uh, two lectures this morning, then I went off for target schools and I went to Merton College where I had lunch for two hours and I spoke to the school that was being shown, ra shown around and who was doing kind of the shadowing day with target schools since I'm on the committee so I volunteered my time. And now I, then I had tea with Adrian and now I really should be getting on with my essay. But they're doing filming outside a uh, new college lane and I just walked past it on the way back to my room. And they, I think they're filming Tolkien, I've done a bit of like Googling and stuff. So me and Truth are gonna like go and have a look at their filming cause it's really cool and there's like some famous actors there. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna start my essay because yeah, this doesn't happen every day. <laughs> so I still have my essay to, to write, but I'm helping Teresa find her ring from last night. We're back, we're back on this lane, <laughs> back on the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? We just went to help Teresa look for one of her rings that she lost. And she dropped it outside of Park End yesterday. So I don't know why I went and helped her. Well, obviously I went and helped her because I'm her friend. But I don't know. Don't really know why I ended up going all the way to Park End with her. Because I haven't even finished my essay reading. Let alone started writing the essay. It's already 3.30 and it's due tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in the best situation at the moment. Because I also have to do some translation work. But it will get done. I'm going to literally put down my phone, put it on airplane mode. And just not even speak to anyone because it just needs to get done. Had the seminar and now I'm back and I've got my stock of chocolate to get me through this essay and I've got a big mug of Earl Grey tea which I will probably top up and make another one soon and it is 11 p.m and I'm on Ox I'm on Facebook tagging people in Ox Feud and Ox Fest and Ox Loves and this is not good because I haven't even started writing the essay but I'm gonna start now so I'm gonna put my phone away and just get it done. I finally finished the essay. I just decided rather than doing an all-nighter and everything, when I got tired at about <clears throat> 2.30 or 3, I just went to sleep. And I mean, I did keep, I did set an alarm and I did try and wake up in the night and then get up and do some, some more of the essay, but I just thought, you know what, no. I have spent too many nights and weeks where I have just stayed up all night and done the essay and then just been completely wiped out all of Friday afternoon, all of Saturday and done absolutely no work. And I cannot afford to do that this week, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to put the essay first, I'm going to put my sleep and my well-being first. So I had done about 1,500 words by the time I went to sleep. I woke up at about 8.30 and I could have got out of bed, but I thought, no, I'm going to stay in bed, I'm, I'm tired. <clears throat> and so I just slept, got up at about 9 and then just finished the essay in about an hour and a half and I've written 2,900 words. So I've done the essay, finished that and then I've just been doing washing up finally. I've All my stuff is accrued, it's just kind of drying there and I've done my mugs and I'm now just going to put away my <laughs> clothes rack because that's been up for about a week and I could have put it away but I've just been too busy and then after my tute which is in 25 minutes I'm then going to just put on another wash because I've got another load that I need to do with all my bedding and just actually do work. I actually feel as though I can function this afternoon whereas usually if I've stayed up all night I just feel like can't do any work or do anything to concentrate on Friday afternoons I usually just plan what I do what I just plan what I would do on the weekend work wise rather than actually doing any work whereas today I'm gonna do some solid work but also I'm gonna finally go to Westgate I think I need to finally buy a new towel from Don Lewis and need to like get a few other bits and bobs that I've forgotten and I haven't had time to go and buy so <clears throat> I'm gonna go and do that this afternoon and do some work and sort out my essay reading for next week and revise for my collection. Oh, and also, if you haven't noticed, I have got these new glasses. I picked them up yesterday from Vision Express because obviously I went to the event last week and I picked out these cat eye tortoiseshell glasses and they got my new prescription in and they are anti-glare reflection, which is really good. So now that I'm using my phone and when I was on my laptop earlier, I could really notice the difference um, with these glasses. It feels, it's not so much of a strain on my eyes. So I'm really happy with these. I really like the style. And I'm going to be wearing them, so a huge thank you to Vision Express, because I absolutely love them.
the vlog, Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to do. <laughs> So I didn't really vlog yesterday or anything. Sorry guys, honestly, it's, excuse my appearance. I need to wash my hair, but I just don't have time at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really vlog at all yesterday afternoon, I don't think. But I wanted to do, wanted to get some work done. And I did do a little bit, but I just ended up doing like a lot of chores and stuff. So I ended up finally going to Westgate. And I was going to buy my new towel from John Lewis and everything. And I went to the checkout to pay. And then I realised that I didn't have my card on me. Because I had my card wallet. But I didn't have my debit card in there. Because it was in my purse. Which was in my room. Which I had left. So I'd walked all the way to the Westgate. All the way to the John Lewis. Picked out the colour towel and everything that I wanted. Realised I couldn't even buy it. So that really was not great. And I wasn't feeling great anyway. I was not, not particularly 100%. Feeling 100%. So that was just not good and then I went back and then I went to watch the sunset which was really 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 nice and I needed that walk to Port Meadow, it was quite calming and this morning I didn't wake, my alarm didn't go off at 8 o'clock so I missed my yoga class this morning which I'm kind of annoyed about because I really really needed, I like I really wanted to go to yoga because it would, it would have been just good for my body and my mind but I just, my alarm didn't go off and ended up waking up at half past 10 which is obviously not ideal at all clearly I needed the sleep but was not a great start to the day and I'm now finally getting down to work it's 12 30 but yeah I've got a lot to do this weekend and I just need to get on with it I think I'm actually going to just turn my phone off because yeah I have a collection on Monday and I need to still prepare for it 